Okay, next up, to, we're going to learn how to put images into our blog posts. Now, images are incredibly important for a bunch of different reasons. First of all, we're a very image-heavy society, and our brains process images a lot faster than they process words. The other thing about images is that they make your blog post more appealing. They draw people in and they draw their eye in. So it's really important to have images in your blog post. So I'm going to show you how to put images into your blog post. There's two ways of doing it. The first way of doing it is by uploading an image into WordPress, into your media library. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload a photo into our image, into our blog post is what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is I've written over the knee socks and you can put the image either before that or you can put it after that. It's your choice. So put your mouse where you want your image to go, then come up here and click on add media. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on add new. And it's going to take you onto your, um, onto your computer. Mine is in my downloads folder. There it is. Hello Kitty Rainbow Socks. I'm just going to click on that and you can either double click on it or you can click on it and hit open. And it is going to create, it's pulled up the thing. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on insert. And there's my photo. It's right there. So yay, it's not that hard, right? Um, a couple of other things that you want to know about how to um, insert an image. Uh, there's another way of doing it, um, and that way is by pulling that image from a URL from somewhere else that it's already existing on the internet. So what you want to do is hit Add Media, and instead of hitting Add New, you want to hit Add Via URL. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go over here and I've done a Google search for Hello Kitty socks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a pair of Hello Kitty socks that I think are cute. Here, I like these ones that say I heart nerds. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on view image. And what it does is I'm just going to take this uh, URL up here, which is the direct URL to that image. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here and I'm just going to paste it in there and then I'm going to click on upload. And what's happened here is that image exists somewhere already on the internet and all I'm doing is basically streaming that image from where it already exists on the internet. And there it is. Now I have to give you a word of warning about putting images in your blog post in this way. Two things. One is that you don't own this image, so you should first of all give credit to the original source. Second of all, because you don't own the image, if they decide to take that image down, then you'll end up with a big blank hole in the middle of your blog post because it's gone. So in an ideal world, you want to use your own images as possible. If you can't, always give credit for images. I'm going to do a future post on some ways that you can create images um, and you'll be able to see that. Now, uh, let's say we want to put a video in our uh, blog post, because why not? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to type into YouTube, Hello Kitty Socks. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I don't, oh, Hello Kitty Sock Party. Sweet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, oh, there's a couple here, actually. Um, that's great. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this one looks kind of fun. Uh, so I'm just going to take this one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, and I'm just going to grab the direct URL to this video right there. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that, come back into my blog post, and then I'm just going to paste it in. And what it does is it embeds that video right in my blog post. Now, you don't need to give credit back to the original source in this particular okay instance because it's always going to be credited back to the original source. We're just embedding this in our post. Um, when you're looking at this, you'll be able to see and click on it and it'll go back to this guy's channel. 
Okay, so the last thing we're going to show you how to do is how to um, uh, embed an Instagram photo in your blog post. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Instagram. So let's say I had gone on Instagram and I did search and I found someone who had Hello Kitty sock pictures on Instagram. I haven't. This is my own um, and it's a picture of shoes, but there we go. Um, just using this for an example. So what you want to do is just um, what you want to do is go to your Instagram and not copy this, but come down here and see where there's a little ellipsis. What you want to do is choose the embed and then copy the embed code. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our blog post. And remember I said previously there's visual and HTML. Flip over to HTML. And then what you're going to do is put your mouse where you want it to go. And then you're just going to copy that embed code in there. Now what I'm going to do is, it's just saving it, and when I flip back to visual, that photo should be embedded right there in my blog post. Sweet!